Well, that is kind of strange. One of these things is not like the other. Hey guys, welcome back to the Elder God Wars from Scratch series. In this series, the end goal is to obtain all tier 95 equipment given from the God Wars Dungeon 3, including all of the skilling offhands from Krosis. The challenge of the series is we can only trade each other. So, I've got 26 hard clue scrolls. I think we should go ahead and get these done because currently my max stack is 25. Um, I think I mentioned making a Ring of Fortune probably two, three, four episodes ago? I don't know, I never got around to it. But it would actually help me for doing these clues currently because that would give me a close teleport to a spirit tree. We are currently at 14 caskets. I did start with nine, so I've only did five. We have 20 left, plus one, 21. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna go make my Ring of Fortune. Alright, truly, it is about time that I've had this, but uh, we've now have the Ring of Fortune, so we have a Grand Exchange Teleport that'll put us fairly close to a Spirit Tree. Eventually, I will do the Ardon achievements and get that Teleport. I'm just going to be using this for now since I've already got it, and it's way faster. At least faster than doing the achievements anyway. While doing these clues, I ended up having to do Rum Deal, so we have the Holy Wrench now. Yep, that seems like a pretty fair trade right there. I'll take that. 30 mil for that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, boys, we just finished up all of our hard clues. Now I have 28 elites. Let's go ahead and try to finish these out and see what we can get. Hopefully we get lucky. Um, I don't think I'm going to get all 50 fortunates from this, but that would be very nice. At the same time, we could also potentially get a die out of our elites, which is also probably not going to happen. But hey, there's a chance. Hey, now I'm at 320. So that is at least one Hydrix. <laughs> Alright guys, I've been doing clues literally for the last two days. I I know I don't have very much here, I'm just not very quick with doing clues, I don't have the proper setup, but let's go ahead and open these and I will finish the rest of the clues at a later date. I am running out of time to actually get content. Start off with my easy caskets. Hey, we did get a fortunate as well as a couple armadillo pages, that's something. Alright, and now let's go ahead and open up the hards. Hey, that's, that wasn't that bad at all. From all of those hards, we got 17 fortunates. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and open up our elites and see what we can get from those. First one starting off strong. And the penguin staff from our last one. And with all that, we are up to 22 fortunates. It's not too shabby. We're almost halfway to the goal. All right. Well, all those clues are done. We have 11 Glacors to kill for our Reaper task. We do have enough to buy a Hydrix, so I might go ahead and just make an Amulet of Souls. That probably would be a good idea, to be fair. It'd be a little bit better than my Blood Amulet of Fury. And we now have our uncomplete Hydrix. Let's throw an Onyx in there and go make our Amulet of Souls. Go ahead and cut this bad boy. Let's make our Hydrix Amulet. And here we go. We now have an Amulet of Souls. That's going to be a massive upgrade. Oh, hey, nice. We just got an improvement of seven seconds. My new PR is 527. It's still not great, but that's okay. Let's see. We've got Bay Knight Stone Spirits. We're going to go ahead and continue that. We're up to 13%. And we'll see how far we can go. Or if I end up disconnecting, whatever happens. I need 10 more kills for the Reaper, though. So that's all that matters to me. Hey, nice. I just beat my PR again by another seven seconds. We're down to 520. Not too, too shabby. Let's see if I get something good for that. Nope. Oh well, let's get her on. <laughs> Man, I guess I'm exhausted because uh, I wasn't watching my prayer. Prayer dropped on the same tick that the cannon hit me. I had my devotion up. I didn't have no prayer points for the prayer to be up. <laughs> that was a bit rough. Uh, might just do the normal mode to get this task done because uh, my brain's fried. We'll carry on tomorrow. All right, we just finished up that Reaper. I went ahead and did a little bit more AFK Glacor. We got a bunch of mostly junk, but I mean, normal mode's not that good. I definitely did want to do hard mode, but my brain capacity is not there at the moment. So let's go ahead and grab another Reaper task and see what else we have to do potentially. 28 legions, are you, oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go AFK some Ascension Keys, and we might do this. Maybe. I don't know how long 28 keys is gonna take me, but let's go spend a couple of hours, see how many keys I get. 
All right, I've been doing ascensions for a little bit. We got a pretty good amount of keys. Um, I thought about it though, and I don't think legions actually give a good enough amount of like reaper points. I'm gonna go ahead and try to reroll this task. Probably end up just giving the ascension keys over to Thrak and have him get the small possibility of pulling out some signets. Eight telos. I cannot do telos. Oh god. General garage door. I can definitely do some garage door. It's not gonna be very many reaper points, but I, I, there's no point in rerolling past this because I'm already to 75. That Reaper is done. That was actually my 60th assignment. That's so weak, I didn't realize how little bossing I do. But we got 21 points for that, so that's not terrible. I mean, it's not good, but it's not terrible. I'm probably just gonna go try to do an Hour of Hell Weir, see if we can't possibly pull out our final crest, because I do have that body. Or sorry, I have the helm ready for that quest. Quest. Crest. Eh. Let's go to Hell Weir. I just got a dragon spear. What? Okay. I don't know how to feel about that. That's gotta be rare. Isn't that a rare drop table? Boys, guess what? I got my magic cape. You a flawless Zuckrum. Yeah, I hope it doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. All right, boys, it is the next day. We just got a corporal beast task. Let's go ahead and knock this out and see if we get anything good. I doubt it, but we have the potential to get a sigil. You know, I can't really complain with that task. Pretty decent stuff. White berries, goat horn and cannonballs. Well, for that kill streak, I got three Hydrix tips and eight battle stabs. Pretty overpowered, if you ask me. Well, we just got a new PR. 517. Still trash, but improvement. Oh, hey, there's my 40th hard mode kill. For 680k. Well, arms slap me out of existence, so we're leaving with a 400k chest. Yippee. Let's go figure out how to do Rex. Well, there's a kill. Not terrible. Not great, though. I'll take it. Somehow still wasn't my PB. The number two? That's not bad. Hey, it's getting easier and easier. I'll take rock tails, I guess. Okay, I don't think I have ever done four kills in one day. You know, people say this is like 15 mil an hour. I, I'm not seeing it. 10 second improvement on middle. Hi right, guys, so there's been a fair amount that's happened since the last update, I suppose. I went ahead and I gave Hamcam the Anima Core body that we got last episode. He already had the crest to go ahead and put on it, and we now have the Anima Core body back. He still has the legs on loan, so we both have at least one piece. Hopefully soon we'll both have two pieces. He does have one more crest, and if I could manage to get dormant legs, we'll both have the Anima Core. I have also been doing a little bit of bossing. Here is what my loot tap looks like at the moment. It's getting pretty decent. I'm honest, I can't complain. Uh, Hamcam also gave me a bunch of royal dragon hide, and I went ahead and made that into royal dragon hide chaps. I'm gonna be giving these back to him once he wants them, and then the rest of this I'm going to be turning into more chaps so that we can disassemble them. Where'd it go? There it is. So that we can disassemble them for tensile as well as padded components. He also gave me a bunch of black dragon hide. Man's insane. So I'm also going to try to churn through that at some point, but at the moment, I'm going to go and do some AFK Glacor. Now, I actually have a decent reason for doing so. I want to collect a bunch of troves, because supposedly, once you get the full ring upgrade from this new boss, you have the potential to get quiver components out of the troves, and I want to make sure that I've got plenty of troves, because if I could actually manage to pull that out, I'm going to be very happy. Also, side note, I need to be very cautious on my rune usage as I'm sitting on 273 blood runes. I spent an hour, no sorry, I spent 30 minutes today doing racks, I got 5 kills. I'm really happy with that. I've never been able to do racks effectively. Hamcam and Thrak were giving me some tips, and I think I'm starting to get better with PVM. Now, the last thing that I really just need to get fixed is my internet, so that way I don't just randomly disconnect and lose kills. Because that's that's no fun for anybody involved, and that really kills my motivation. Anyway. Let's go ahead and do some Glacor, try to collect as many trubs as we can possibly get, and we'll see where we end up. I was totally kidding. I ended up deciding to come on and get my Tuska's Wrath ability because I never got that. So I spent a little while doing that. We now have Tuska's Wrath. Now, let's go and AFK some Glacor. Alright guys, well we've been doing Glacor for, I think, at least three hours now. Maybe a little bit more, but we have gotten 15 troves in total. Not too chubby, but not as many as I would have liked. All right, boys, the day is here. We now have Zuck. Let's go and check out what this is. I should be editing right now, but I really want to see... Ooh, this place looks really sick. Let's check this out. Okay, it looks like these guys are all going to be attacking me. Where is the boss encounter? I believe we have found it. I'm just going to start out with normal mode and see how this goes. I'm not on the right spell book. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, we do it. We get taco from this. Yo, that's sick. I didn't even realize. Okay. Yo, 
Wait a minute. We're actually getting a lot of Taco. Onyx bolt tips, fire orbs, quarms. Yo, this might be really, really good. <laughs> oh, I just got a manuscript. Dude, I like it already. Where is this stuff going though? Like, I understand it's being stockpiled, but where is it being stockpiled? Maybe I just have to out damage the healing? Oh, you have to stun him. Okay, okay. Getting a lot of really decent loot, though. Activating Ingenious Vengeance will unleash the energy staggering Zuck. I'll pretend I know what that means. Why does he have an attack option? What, I can? Oh, he's immune. What if I hit the button? Oh, hey, there we go. I probably should have used Sunshine for this. Oh, so I get a set amount of time to deal damage. Just by the way, I went into this completely blind, so I'm already doing better than I expected. We get lava runes! Oh, please tell me that these drop blood runes. Oh, please, please drop blood runes. Another thousand tackle? Jeez. Ooh, interesting. So what do we got here? Melee guys? Uh-oh, this looks like a time limit thing. This is not good. Okay, I survived. I'm actually taking quite a bit of damage, to be honest. He just hit a 1300 through prayer and animate dead? Okay. Using a threshold ability has made it more vulnerable. Okay. But not necessarily just stuns, it's thresholds. Okay. I'm definitely gonna run out of prayer though, and that is not ideal. Let me go ahead and activate penance. Hopefully that can save me, possibly. Why are you immune? I don't like that you're immune. Uh, I gotta kill the tiny guys, question mark. I don't, do I have to be inside there with you? I don't, I don't, I don't know if that was the trick or what, what? <sighs> So if I step inside your little barrier here and poke you, poke you, are you... Yeah, I guess I have to be inside the barrier. Whatever, I'll take... 50 dragon stones? What? Dude, these drops are insane. I'm on wave 14 right now. This is not expected at all of me. Especially going in 100% blind. Okay, get this guy down. Ah, oh, there's the chest. Okay, okay. This is not good. Not good at all. Eh... What? Who am I supposed to attack? What am I supposed to do? I don't... Okay, I don't know what I was supposed to do there. That's unfortunate, but I was completely out of everything. Okay, it's free death week. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back. As expected, unleash Jad. Oh, here we go. All right, so what do we got here? Okay, I guess I'm going to be praying melee. What is happening? Why Why am I getting hit with these? What's happening? Why? What? Tell I d what happened. I don't understand. I really want to get this kill. At least one kill for this video. I am so far behind on editing right now, but I don't care. Oh, God, this is going to be bad. Um, what's happening here? What's going on? Uh, what, 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 what? Oh, okay, there's a certain spot that I have to go to, apparently. Alright boys, I'm stuck on Zuck. I'd love to keep trying, but I have got to get this video edited. I know today is Monday, it's not coming out till Wednesday, but I only have like a couple hours each day to edit since I'm working. Anyway, I'm probably gonna go ahead and cut that one here. And besides, I'm already at 55 blood runes, which... We do have blood runes inside the Zuck chest, which let's go ahead and take a peek at that. Here's everything that I got from roughly an hour and a half of attempts. I got all the way to Zuck, completely blind, except for on wave 15, I had to look up how to deal with that initial start on wave 15 because it got me four or five times in a row, I'll admit. Uh, but it's not too bad, you just got a barricade and prayer flick. Pretty challenging boss, which I'm pretty happy with to be fair, but I've got to admit, Having these blood runes here makes it 10,000 times better. Like, I'm gonna be hard camping this purely for blood runes, if anything else. I mean, of course, we have to get all the weapons from scratch, so we'll be camping it anyway. Anyway, guys, until next time, I do hope that you all enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to take her easy, and have a good one.